Lynn from Lenny C Designs and today I'm coming on to show you um, a quick card using um, some of the images, some of the stamps from the Woodwares stamp set and also using one of the celebration items, both um, stamps from Amazing You and I'm going to use the Celebrate You Thinlet from the, the um, Thinlet dies. I haven't got punches so I'm using the um, smallest of the stitched shaped framelit dies and the one inch circle from the layering circle framelits. It's quite a, a bright, it's going to be quite a bright light colour using some of the um, retiring in colours. So dapper denim, flirty flamingo, those two are retiring and then lemon lime twist which is one of the current um, in colours. Glues are um, the multi-purpose and some dimensionals. I've also got my embossing buddy because I'm going to do some heat embossing so we're using Versamark ink and I've got some clear embossing powder and just for some embellishments I'm going to use some of these lovely glitter and clear epoxy um, shapes. I think they're really lovely so that'll add a nice little finishing touch to the card. So I've got a Whisper White envelope, I've got a Dapper Denim um, card base, I have a layer, matting layer of Flirty Flamingo, a white Whisper White piece which is um, just cut slightly shorter. All the dimensions will be on my blog and there'll be a link below to the full details for that um, in the description box. I've got a layer of Whisper White for the inside and then I've got a strip of Flirty Flamingo which will go across. I'm going to cut the word celebrate from this strip of um, Lemon Lime Twist. I've got a scrap of Dapper Denim and a scrap of a Whisper White for the sentiment. So let's get on and do some stamping. I shall just get these out of the way. So that's the stamping there. Let's get rid of it. I've got some, I've been doing some embossing ahead of time. So let's get that out of the way. And I'm using the circle. I've got my stamping scrub just off to the side and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp off every time and then just randomly stamp this image. I just think this will give a lovely um, vibrant colour to the card. So I had a couple of classes today, um, this week and um, I need to clean my stamping scrub so it's not in the best of shapes. Now I'm going to do the same with the Verti Flamingo but I want to overlap on each of these. That's great. And you notice I started with the lightest colour and I'm going in with now with the darkest colour. And I think that helps a little bit. And then if I need to, if I feel I need to, I will go back and fill in some gaps. So there's a little bit of a dark spot there. Um, I wonder if I can do another three in there. Let's see if we can. Oh yeah, my stamping scrub really needs a clean. Stamp off, stamp on. I think I'm going to do a random one there and another one there, just fill in some spaces. There we go. And then I'm going to put it there. Mm 
and it's just a case of going at it until you're happy with the way it looks. So I'm going to just put another daffodilian bit there and there. So there we go, I'm happy with that. So that's going to be a layer. I'm going to just gently do the same to the corner of the inside as well. That's not cleaned very well. That's oh, that but actually I quite like that. That's a bit of a combination of the daffodilium <laughs> and the lemon lime twist. Oh dear. Lovely, I like that. And then we might do exactly the same. Just a clean off with the envelope. So no, we won't do the flap. We will do Some of these little stamps don't actually get used very much. So there we go, that ties that in. We can leave that to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've actually, I've cut out ahead of time the Celebrate Thinlet. And what I did was once I'd cut it out, I actually then covered it in Versamark used some clear embossing and I don't know if you can see but that's actually made that into a really lovely sentiment um, and it's glossy so I think it just gives a heat embossing I may have mentioned one or two times before that um, it's it's like magic so let's put this card together I wanted to try and keep this um, video short because I'm sure everybody's got lots of things that they're getting up to at the, over the weekend and you don't want me twittering in your ear so that's on there we've got the stamped layer and I'm not going to put a lot of dimension on this because um, although I do like dimension I'm going to send this in the post and uh, I don't think that will work very well so oh I just I love that so I was tempted to try and emboss this to give it some texture but I think I'm going to leave it leave it be so we'll just put some put that down in the middle I really like it. And then I'm going to, using the silicone mat, I'm going to stick some glue, dots of glue, on the back of this die cut word. And this glue is so strong, you really don't need an awful lot of it, so I'm just dabbing it. I could use, you could use the fine tip glue. And I did think about using the, um, you could also use the double sided sheets before you die cut it, but the only problem with that, I think, is when you heat emboss it, um, I think that might actually um, get rid of some of the sticky, I'm not sure. Let's hold that down for a minute just to let that stick. And we have, again, ahead of time, just so that you don't have to hear me, I have, um, I stamped Let's from the Amazing New Stamp Set in, I did Versamark, then the Dapodenim, and then I heat embossed it. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's um, raised as well. So I'm going to pop that I will pop that bit up with a couple of mini dimensionals.
on there and that fits perfectly that you can still see that sh um, that shape around there so I'm going to stick that flat so that there's and I think that can go on there let's celebrate so we will just see if we can Some of these randomly. One, two. Oop. These two came off really, really easily. There we go. And stick it in a little bit of a triangle. There we go. And we've got to stick that on the inside. And as usual, I'm going to leave the inside blank for words for the moment because I'm not sure whether that's going to be a birthday card, it could be a, um, an anniversary, it could be somebody's engagement. Let's celebrate. There we are.